Hardness is the resistance of a material to scratching or indentation. Hardness is not measured in the standardised unit such as kilograms or metres. It is a comparative unit between softer and harder materials. The process involves an indenter making an impression into a specimen and the larger the imprint, the softer the material and vice versa. In the UK, the most common shaped indenter is an inverted pyramid and is ascribed to the hardness Vickers scale of measurement. Tests performed in the lab follow British and international standards. These stipulate the load in reference to the materials being tested, and these tests are at 3 kg force, and the duration of the time the indenter is held in place, also according to standards, is 10 seconds. Putting it simply, hardness is a measurement of force applied over the area of the indentation mark made. This reflects the calculation of tensile strength, hence hardness is proportionate to tensile strength. However, this is multiplied by a factor of K and the hardness tester equipment performs all the calculations automatically. The most common hardness scale used in the USA is hardness rock roll. The principle in all indenters is that higher numbers represent greater hardness and vice versa. The other common indenters of varying shapes are the Brunel, Noop and Shaw. The different hardness scales are easily comparable via conversion tables, which can be found as hard copies in the materials lab, or can also be found via internet search engines. Hardness testing can only be done on flat surfaces, as curvature can affect the size of the imprint of the indentation made. Other than that, almost any type of specimen, shape and size can be placed in a hardness tester, as long as it can fit under the indenter and the indentation mark itself is almost undetectable due to its size and is therefore considered a non-destructive test, unlike tensile testing. However, the software views the image via contrast, so polishing the surface is the only preparation that needs to take place for a clear image. With broken specimens from either tensile testing or impact testing, these can be polished on some wet and dry paper. Circular motions provide a more even polish, at least 30 seconds would improve the surface. It must also be held firmly in position for testing so as not to move during the load application. For the broken test specimens, this can be a block with holes in it to hold the specimen. And for impact specimens, a clamp can be used where the ring nuts are tightened securely. The specimen is placed under the magnification lens where a green pointer light will shine on the surface indicating the location where the indenter will make its mark. Avoid the edges of the specimens where curvature is likely. Be cautious not to crash the platen into the indenter while viewing the image on screen and also moving the platen up or down with the triangular buttons to focus the image. The adjacent wheel is used for fine focusing of the image. 